The insert arc of center, radius, start and end points command lets you draw an arc when you know the center point, the radius and where the arc starts and finishes. Select the command and the dialog box lets you type in the radius. When you click OK, the image of a circle with the radius you just specified is attached to your crosshair. This gives you a feel for the size of your arc. The prompt now tells you to select the origin of the arc. Position your crosshair where you want the center of the arc to be and click your left mouse button. Now you have the image of a small arc rotating about the point you just selected as you move your crosshair. The prompt now tells you to select the start of the arc. Click where you want the arc to start. The prompt now tells you to select the end of the arc. Click where you want the arc to end and it is drawn. Notice the arcs were drawn in an anti-clockwise direction from the start point. This is always the case with this command. These arcs were drawn in free space, but they can also be drawn by snapping to existing points with the snapping square like this. or by selecting an entity with the diamond to make the arc tangential, like this. Notice a different prompt this time. In this case, you only need to select two points, not three. You can even do this with two entities, lines or arcs or circles. The arc will be tangential to both. Right click to finish drawing the arcs. This command asks for the radius of the arc, but if you don't know the, the radius, you only know the diameter, you can let RealCAD work it out for you. In the dialog box, you can enter equations instead of just numbers. For example, if the diameter was 195.78, by typing in a slash two after it, RealCAD will work out the radius. When you click on OK, the number is displayed and the circle or the arc you're working on is that radius. Right click to finish. That completes this tutorial.